So, my axe didn't cut it anymore, so I got uh, the stats up to use my Black Knight Sword. You see here how to use it. I did not have the stats to use it in one hand, so I used it in two. So he's showing you how to block and quick swap and kill them. These are the easier mobs, but I'm gonna show you all the hard mobs between the Bell Gargles down to the uh, Moonlight Butterfly. And also show the boss encounters. How I manage those. I do not do them perfect. This is my first time playing through the game. And yes, it's quite punishing to plunge the sword into someone's back. The Bell Gargoyle does copy himself after a while, so the faster you get down his HP, the smaller HP the uh, copy will have. And also you see me here cut off his tail, that will make the copy also have a cut off tail. Here I should have avoided more, but what the hell, I get him down. So this fire here, it's not that dangerous because of the range is quite short. It's quite easy to go around it. You can see I'm quite close, but it's just go around it. Just outflank him. Just quite slow cast speed, so no trouble. Just take it easy and dodge him. A Black Knight Sword just totally punish him. After you kill the gargoyles, you climb the tower to hit the bell. Just gonna show you this nice cutscene here. So just enjoy. And after that, you have to go down into the forest. But on your way to the forest, you get stopped by this guy. A headless, legless mm, spellcaster that can jump with his only one leg. And you're gonna see him punish me quite hard here. Because I have my shield up in the wrong direction because I didn't target him. I noticed after dying quite a few times here that I needed more damage. But I did not have the stats yet for the sword. I put them in not chronological order, just... And you could exploit him here, I noticed, that you can use your height difference to an advantage. So you see me going up and down this staircase. Because his sweeping strike is extremely large. You can dodge it, however, but the easiest way was just to go upstairs, and then I could keep dashing out damage. So it's quite simple if you just take it easy and block most of his spells. This spell hurts quite a bit, it hurts through my shield because it doesn't have the best magical defense. But you see here I just use the staircase, I used a height difference to my advantage, dish out damage while he is Okay, he actually hit me there because I went too far up. Yeah, he does also hit with his tail, so you have to be a bit careful about that. And the fireballs does... You throw them for some reason. They don't go straight forward, so... You have to be quite close for them to work. And his weapon is large, so... You have to watch out for it. Here you see me forgetting about the tail. But it's okay as long as I have my Estus flasks. You see how he swings with his tail. But I recommend using the height difference because he does immense damage.
And I recommend to use your weapon in two hands because his strikes are so slow, so... Just use it in two hand. Are you gonna see me take care of some smaller mobs? I noticed with my axe with these that I could continuously attack them and not get hit by them because you constantly interrupt them. And also if they if you're too close to them, they can catch you and that will they will just suck the power out of you and it would most likely kill you, so just be sure not to be caught by them. Here's a really nice message here. Makes me find the uh, torch here. Bonfire. And I did have footage of killing this with an axe, but I did so little damage, so the movie was like five minutes. But these, they're slow, but they have a ginormous reach. But they're really easy to outflank, so just run around them. Just keep running around them. And even when they make you slower like this, they use your spell to make you really slow. You still have time to slowly walk around them. But don't do too many strikes or it might catch you, so just... As I do, I do one hit and then I start moving again. Now to the Moonlight Butterfly. I noticed that the easiest way to attack... To avoid his attacks is to uh, just stay as far away as possible because then you have more time to avoid them. And also, one of his light beams cannot hit you if you're far away enough. These is just barrel as soon as they come close. The hardest one I seem to dodge is the scatter gun it has. Here you see the laser that you can't hit if you're too far away. And for some reason, it's a sort of unicorn butterfly. I've never seen that before. I just love the boss designs in Dark Souls. It's just... Everything's so new and... It's just... Everyone else is just making like, Oh, let's make a dragon that everyone's seen before. But even the dragons in this game is totally unique and amazing. This is the spell that I have the hardest time approaching. It's very quick, it doesn't hurt you that much though. Yeah, just wait for him to go down and dish out as much damage as you can. It does blow up after time, but I did not try to stay within that, because I think that would probably one-shot you. Because, as you hear, it sounds like an explosion, and usually explosion is not good for you in this game. I'm not sure if you should step in two directions to trick where it's supposed to go, because it seems to be following you, so... Rolling is usually the best way. See here, try to roll those. It's way too late. I mean, just the music and the atmosphere in this game is... It's uncompared. I mean, Demon Souls is good, but this is just... Yeah, that's my dog, so... <laughs> it's low snow. It's not much more to this boss, just <laughs> be sure to know when he lands. Because, yeah, let's see, I didn't here. If you cast, you can use your spells, but I'm gonna sh I'm using them here at the end. Make quite a lot of damage. And there you go. So I will put out more movies as I 
play the game more. See you later.